Okay, so I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about what I use in my aquariums. I've been doing this about a year, so I'm still, I consider myself still really in the learning process and sort of tried a lot of things, trying to figure this out and did a lot of research. And um, basically, when I start a new tank, this is something kind of I picked up recently and I've been using it in my, in my beta tanks. It's Nutrifen um, Cycle. You're supposed to be able to put it in there and it starts the cycle right away. I like to do that, you know, for water changes. Um, it's not the only thing that I've tried, but I've kind of been, it's like $3.99 for this little bottle, but um, I always like to kind of figure out what I need. This is a quarter teaspoon per water change for a per gallon. I try to do everything per gallon because it's easier for me to kind of learn, you know, what to do. Uh, this is my favorite right here as far as a water conditioner. It removes um, chlorine, chloramine, ammonia, um, detoxifies nitrate and nitrites, uh, it promotes a slime coat. You used to be able to just leave your water out overnight and the chlorine would evaporate, but they added chloramine into the water now, so that no longer is good enough. So uh, this is your water conditioner. You use it every single water change. Every time you add water to your aquarium, you need to use some sort of a dechlorinator. And um, this is my favorite. It's a little bit more expensive sometimes. I think this little bottle was like $5.99. But seriously, it's two drops per gallon. Two drops per gallon is ridiculous. I mean, that is how concentrated this is. It's fantastic stuff. I really, I like this. And I actually just recently found it in this little pack in here. And this pack came with the Prime, much larger bottle actually than what I had, and Stability. And this this is like the, the Cycle stuff here. It's it's like that stability and I really like Seachem so I've tried this and it helps avoid new tank syndrome and I like stability a lot uh, it's sort of a rapid and safe establishment of a biofilter helps prevent new tank syndrome for fresh and marine water so it's another, another favorite I have not ever found a need to to use this clarity if your tanks get cloudy um, reef and plant safe I haven't I haven't needed it yet so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but I actually got this at PetSmart, all three of these pieces in this little box for $7.99. I've also seen it for $13.99, but just for the prime and stability alone, I mean, this was $5.99, so it's pretty good. I like that stuff. Um, then we're talking a little bit about, uh, this is another uh, stress sign by API. This is good, too. I've used this, too. I like it. And it uh, keeps the aquarium clean. It contains live bacteria. Um, it adds beneficial bacteria for a healthy aquarium. You use it, you know, a little bit every time and again per gallon, 0.5 millimeters per gallon. So you don't really use much if you've got smaller tanks. And I just went to the pharmacy and asked them for a little millimeter um, little syringe, and they give it to you for free if you ask them. And I mean, literally, like that right there is 0.5 millimeters. So it's not really very much. So it's pretty good. I also use, you know, use these when I'm treating my tanks, Melifix right here, and Pimafix. Basically, these are all natural, which I like. Um, it's extracted from tea trees. Actually, believe it or not, it smells really good. Um, Melifix is for bacterial infections, for damaged fins, ulcers, open wounds. Um, I think it's said on here, uh, Popeye, body slime and mouth fungus. Um, you know, fin rot, things like that, so um, that's really good. Pimafix is for your fungal infections. Um, I've only actually had to use this once. Extracted from West Indian bay leaves. Again, smells really good. Um, this is more of a fungus. This is more of a, of a bacterial. Um, really good products. Actually, they make another um, another form of this. It's called Betafix, and actually it's just Melifix. But it's the exact same thing. But... Um, yeah, so those are pretty good. I try to always have these on hand in my little medicine cabinet, so to speak. Um, I also have aquarium salt, which I've been researching about um, for promoting healthy fish. And also, if you have a problem in your tank, you know, putting this in. I've really had a lot of controversial information. Um, use it, don't use it. It's good for betas. It's bad for betas. It's good for guppies. It's bad for guppies. It's, I don't know. I'm... I guess I did, I'm not really sure about this yet, so I don't know. 
here's another new product I've just recently gotten to try. It's Aquarisol. It's a mild protozoan uh, and ick preventative for sensitive species, um, specifically for like my guppies and things. Um, again, you it's dosed by by drops per gallon. You know. Um, I don't know, this little bottle treats 400 gallons. It says it's, uh, you know, mild enough to use every week with every uh, added, adding new fish. So I'm using it on my quarantined tank right now. The fish isn't sick, so I'm just seeing how, how it works as a preventative. I don't know. So I have to kind of see how that works out. And then I was going to talk to you about nets. Now this, this is my first net that I got. Um, this actually damaged all my betas. So, yeah, the, the nets kind of got big holes. I really, I didn't like it very much. I try to catch them in their original cups, which I keep. Uh, that tends to work pretty well, but sometimes, you know, you have to get in there and get them. And especially with my guppies, they've got nice long finage a lot too. So this is a brine shrimp net. It's a lot more fine. It's very soft. And um, so I don't use, you know, this guy. Bad, bad, bad. I don't use that anymore. I use this. It just seems to be more gentle. Uh, guppies, try to catch them in a cup. Good luck. Um, it's about a 50-50 with the, with the beta or the beta, I guess. Um, I also have a little net here that's specifically designed for shrimp. I have a few, you know, cherry shrimp. So I always try to keep more than one of the nets around because if I'm treating a tank, which I haven't had to do very often, but it's always good to have an extra, you know, net for the other tanks so you're not cross-contaminating. And I think only the other, you know, tools I really have are my little tweezers when I'm feeding my African dwarf frog. You know, I use this for, you know, feeding him and this little thing here, which you can kind of helps out with the beta tank sort of get things up. But um, I'll talk about cleaning and stuff on, a, on another video. But basically, um, that's pretty much the arsenal I have as far as, as care. Um, oh, there goes my cat, gonna say hello. Anyway, thank you. Bye.